Right now we are in the borough of Jennerstown at the intersection of US 30 and Pennsylvania 985. Now that we've cracked open our cans of pop, let's head on our way. We are going to take US Route 30, the Lincoln Highway, eastbound in the direction of the Flight 93 Memorial Park. That should be a little under 12 miles from here. Of course though, we have cruised this way before on the modern alignment of Route 30, the Lincoln Highway. And that's why I'm going to suggest that when we get to a couple other points further east of here, we will hop off of the current Lincoln Highway and try to trace the path of the original Lincoln Highway. The first section of old or bypassed Lincoln Highway we will come to will be in the borough of Stoystown, but that's ahead in Queen Mahoney Township. The borough of Stoystown is completely surrounded by the township of Queen Mahoney. Certainly Stoystown is still a few miles ahead of us, so in the meantime I want to discuss a few other things. The first thing I'd like to address is the myth or misunderstanding that is so prevalent, and that is the assumption that the Lincoln Highway and U.S. Highway 30 are completely 1,000% synonymous with each other. They are not. The Lincoln Highway is what is called an auto trail, or what was called an auto trail, and it was one of the first auto trails in the nation and the first transcontinental auto trail. U.S. 30 is one of the U.S. highway systems set up in the late 1920s, and it was also one of the first, and one of the few that goes transcontinental still. Anyway, let's start with the Lincoln Highway. It was conceived in 1912 by Indiana entrepreneur Carl G. Fisher, and formally dedicated October 31, 1913. The Lincoln Highway goes from Times Square in New York City west to Lincoln Park in San Francisco. Originally and today, it ran through 13 states. However, one state has been altered. In 1915, just at the age of two, the Colorado Loop of the Lincoln Highway was removed. And then in 1928, after the formation of U.S. Route 30, there was a realignment of the Lincoln Highway through the northern tip of West Virginia, therefore restoring 13 states. Let me explain that in a bit better detail. From 1913 until the late 1920s, the Lincoln Highway, traveling westbound from downtown Pittsburgh, would cross the Manchester Bridge over the Allegheny, then continue down the north shore of the Ohio River into Beaver County, and then directly into the state of Ohio. However, in the late 1920s, U.S. Highway 30 was laid out from downtown Pittsburgh to cross the Monongahela River over the Point Bridge and then continue out through the West End, going further west and then entering the northern panhandle of West Virginia and then crossing the Ohio River. At this point, the Lincoln Highway backers decided to reconfigure the Lincoln Highway to let it run along with Route 30 and through West Virginia. In 1913, the first officially recorded length of the entire Lincoln Highway was 3,389 miles. But over the years, the road was improved and numerous realignments were made, shortcuts were found, Colorado Loop was removed, and by 1924, the highway had been shortened to 3,142 miles. Since the Lincoln Highway was dedicated in 1913, it in fact predated the dedication of the Lincoln Memorial, which was not until 1922. Naturally, in the late 1920s, the Lincoln Highway was gradually replaced with the numbered highway designations after the establishment of the U.S. numbered highway system in 1926. And here is our big intersection with U.S. Route 219 ahead, also known as the Flight 93 Memorial Highway. U.S. 219, incidentally, despite its number as a three-digit U.S. highway, is in fact an expressway at this point which meets interstate highway standards, I believe but has never been given an interstate designation as of yet. And now we enter Queen Mahoney Township, which means Stoys Town is a few miles ahead. And now let's talk a little bit about U.S. Highway 30. 
U.S. Highway 30 is one of the main east to west highways in the United States numbered highway system. In fact, with a length of 3,073 miles, it is the third longest U.S. highway after only U.S. Route 20 and U.S. Route 6. But like I mentioned earlier, it is not 100% synonymous with the Lincoln Highway. U.S. Route 30 begins in the east in Atlantic City, New Jersey, well south of uh, Times Square in New York where the Lincoln Highway begins. And Route 30 ends in the west in Astoria, Oregon at U.S. Route 101. This, of course, is well to the north of San Francisco where the Lincoln Highway ends. U.S. Route 30 travels through 11 states altogether, two less than the Lincoln Highway does. One thing that stands out about U.S. Route 30 in the age of the interstate highway systems, which by the way came along in 1956, but what stands out since then about U.S. Route 30 is that it has survived completely intact, unlike some other long-distance U.S. highways. I am referring, for example, to the completely decommissioned U.S. Route 66, or the greatly truncated on the western side of the nation, U.S. U.S. Route 40. U.S. Route 30, on the other hand, unlike them, is still completely intact from Atlantic City, New Jersey to Astoria, Oregon. So anyway, if Route 30 and the Lincoln Highway are not completely synonymous, how come there's all this confusion? Well, I can explain that now. As I have said earlier, for about two-thirds of their respective distances, roughly, across the nation, both the Lincoln Highway and US 30 run concurrently as one. If we start in the east, we would see that the Lincoln Highway runs concurrently with US Route 1 from Trenton, New Jersey, southwestward to the western border of Philadelphia. The Lincoln Highway, in this case running with Route 1, forms the western border of Philadelphia with Montgomery County. But then at the intersection with US 30, which has ventured west from Atlantic City, New Jersey, at that intersection the Lincoln Highway turns and follows US Route 30 west from the very western border of Philadelphia. And from there the Lincoln Highway and US Route 30 continue to run together from the western edge of Philadelphia to Aurora, Illinois. Ironically, in Illinois, the land of Lincoln, the two of them separate for a while. But then they get back together again in Sterling, Illinois. And then from Sterling, Illinois, traveling west all the way to Granger, Wyoming, once again the Lincoln Highway and US 30 run concurrently. Then west of Granger, Wyoming, all the way to their western termini, the two of them are forever separate. In some places further west of Granger, Wyoming, the Lincoln Highway ran concurrently with what is now a decommissioned section of U.S. Route 40. One quick note, it is probably safe to assume that from Aurora, Illinois to Sterling, Illinois, a distance I would guess is roughly 75 miles or so. Anyway, it is probably safe to assume that U.S. Route 30 takes the more direct route of the two. And now ahead we can see a little road dangling off to our left, which actually would go straight ahead from this road if this road didn't turn right. And that's our clue that we are reaching a bypass section of the original Lincoln Highway. And sure enough there is one of our designated plaques indicating we are on an original section of the Lincoln Highway. Now this puts us on Main Street into the borough of Stoystown, which is just ahead. One way to tell that you are on a modern alignment of the highway and that there's an original highway alternative is that the modern alignment will be designated as US Route 30, of course, but it will normally not include the Lincoln Highway plaque on it. The old route, on the other hand, that has been bypassed 
is the route that will usually have the Lincoln Highway plaque on it. And of course, in some cases, like in Bedford and Everett, the old route will also be designated as Business US 30. Judging from the map of Stoystown, it would seem most logical that Main Street, which is divided into West Main Street and East Main Street, is indeed the old route of the Lincoln Highway. But I must throw in a word of caution, a little bit of confusion might exist because I have not seen too many plaques indicating Lincoln Highway along Main Street in Stoystown. But on top of that, on a different street, uh, that's North Walnut Avenue, which is still further up ahead. There is a plaque indicating Lincoln Highway. Anyhow, for a little bit of info about Storystown, the population was 428 at the time of the 2000 census. It was named for Daniel Stoy, who was one of the first settlers west of the Eastern Continental Divide, which, by the way, is still a little bit to the east of us here. Right up ahead on our left hand side is North Walnut Avenue. That's the street I mentioned earlier. It does contain a Lincoln Highway plaque on it. If we look to our left as we pass the road, we can see it. This could mean perhaps that over time there were two different routes that the Lincoln Highway once took. Maybe originally it turned left and went up to the old Forms Road, which is just to the north of here, and then maybe later on it was rerouted to Main Street. Cross this overpass over top of the modern alignment of US Route 30, the Lincoln Highway, and then make this right turn which will lead us down to the present alignment of Route 30.